Hello there. Today is a very hot day here in Texas. The temperature is in the 40s, and we're staying indoors. Our plan is to try something completely different today. We're going to bake a pineapple upside down cake for the first time. These days, when I feel like trying new recipes, I call it my culinary experiment. So if it happens to turn out inedible, I just say, "Oh well, it was just an experiment," and that saves me the embarrassment. You guys have met Miss Zoya in my previous videos. She's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi, and sometimes she thinks she's a little bunny. Her favorite snacks are carrots. I'm feeling slightly adventurous in the kitchen today. Getting out of my comfort zone of berry pies and cookies feels exciting. How often do you feel adventurous and feed your curiosity? Adventure comes in different shapes and forms, doesn't it? You most likely won't see me do anything too extreme, but making something slightly extraordinary in my kitchen on a hot summer day is definitely my cup of tea. Recently, I've been thinking quite frequently, to be honest, about getting outside of my comfort zone and experimenting, acquiring new experiences that I haven't had before, and opening my mind to new ways of living my life. One of my favorite quotes I came across recently is, "Life begins at the end of your comfort zone." We are creatures of habit. The older we get, the more set in our ways we are. The older we become, the less open we are to new experiences, and I'm no exception. Take a moment to really think about this. A child lives for that new, exciting field trip. Next year's birthday party with their friends, and that first date with a boy or girl they met in school. But as we grow older, we accumulate a collection of experiences that we then use as our measuring tape. We have something to compare things to, and are not willing to give certain things and certain people the time of day if they don't fit the bill. In many cases, rightfully so, but sometimes we may be wrong. Sometimes opening our minds to new experiences and our hearts to feelings and emotions is exactly what we need to grow. When I was in high school, I took painting and drawing lessons. Art has always been a passion of mine, but. Because I don't have that formal art education, I never felt 100% comfortable calling myself an artist. I still paint frequently. The city where I live now is known for being a great place for artists and musicians. Even now, there are so many art shows and live music venues everywhere. Not too long ago, I participated in an event that hosted close to 30 different artists, most of whom were from here, from Texas. This was an event for visual artists, so the majority of those who were there were painters. I brought 20 of my best acrylic and oil paintings. We had live music, and the visitors had an opportunity. To chat with every artist and to purchase their artwork. Being quite introverted, I knew what I was signing up for. Close to six hours of essentially being the center of everyone's attention. I was anxious. I couldn't sleep the night before. I regretted my decision to do this as I was driving my own paintings to the show. All of them fit quite nicely in the back of my car. I was. Happy, but I was nervous. As I pulled up to the venue, the voice in my head was getting louder and louder. I'm about to turn into the parking garage. Wait, it said. Wait. What if these people don't like your art? What if other artists who show up have the skills you never learned and know the techniques you never even heard of? Just go ahead and turn around. It's easier to just go home. But I was far enough from home to move forward with this little adventure of mine. I wasn't going to make a U-turn and drive back defeated. Certainly, this was far beyond my comfort zone, but 
Somehow, I thought the idea of returning home, unpacking my art was far worse than the possibility of having a terrible time at this event. So I parked and piece by piece, I carried my canvases to the venue. It's Texas, it's hot, and I'm wearing a full face of makeup and a dress and of course high heels. Going back and forth between my car and the venue, I was determined to make this night one to remember. Once all of my art was there, they helped me put it up on the walls. I stood there and I was quite proud of myself at that point. Hour into the event, I felt myself chit-chatting with visitors, I sold several paintings, and I received more compliments than I could ever dream of. People like my art. My friends were there to support me, I met new amazing artists, and I had an opportunity to actually present my own art to the world. This was a real adventure and one that I almost missed because I was so sad on staying within the limits of what I had previously experienced and felt comfortable with. I wouldn't trade that night for anything. Just as this upside down pineapple pie is a first in my book, take chances and don't be afraid to be uncomfortable and have to learn new things and new ways. Life is an amazing gift and as we get older, we learn that it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Remember, the world is yours to explore.